What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes news for April 13th, 2023, and yes, finally, a live up-to-date video. The past like three or four days have all been pre-recorded stuff, uh, but we got news for next week. Now, next week looks like it is going to be a Wishing Fountain event overall. Not exactly something we care about because there are some special resources in this event, but there's nothing premium. There's no sublimation chest. There's nothing like that. If you do get the special package, then maybe you want to go in on this one because there are some bonuses for doing loops, for doing uh, Sky Labyrinth, and doing all those types of things. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Make sure you guys take one second and hit that subscribe button. We're at, let's see, hold on. Oh, wait, I didn't mean to click that. We're at 84,300 subscribers, so we're really close to 85. Make sure you guys enter all the giveaways. Let's jump right into it. <laughs> Okay, new update is on its way. We are, of course, getting 15 of those Mithril pickaxes and one Super Wishing Coin every day. This event actually plays in as a more important event now that we have the new monthly quests that have to do with Super Wishing Coins. You need like 50 or 60 of them every single month. So this is a great way to do it because in Sky Labyrinth, if you get that two times multiplier square and then you go over to where one of the totems reveal, there's a chance you might get two Super Wishing Coins. So getting up to that daily uh, and monthly allotment of Super for wishing coins that you need to save is not that bad anymore uh we do of course have sky labyrinth but we have these special little leaves in this event too i actually wonder if they had a name for these specifically they are called let's see and actually yeah it doesn't even say what their names are <laughs> actually doesn't say it at all i guess they're just called spring points at this point so yeah spring points for doing this most people you're only gonna get to six maybe seven down here so you're gonna be getting what's that i mean really not that many like 28 ish 24 -ish, somewhere in that ballpark right there so you're not really expecting much from this but this event will give you more pickaxes potentially so keep that in mind you might get a little bit better progress but again no premium rewards and of course the spring points are in all of the normal mysterious chest event packages uh, probably makes the main pack and these two on the left worthwhile the two on the right not so much Unless you really need something good. I mean, saving like 10,000 gems to make sure you get a hero copy, glorious relics, the, the guild coins, and of course, all these summon type stuff. It's usually pretty good. These guys, not as much value unless you need the orange, uh, orange artifact shards are like, okay. But again, not that great. And then, of course, we do have the Wishing Found event with Garuda as the final reward. And you're going to be able to get six, uh, 10 per loop. You can do nine loops. 90 i mean that's, that's not really anything great or wonderful here because well we have this gigantic infographic we're going to zoom in on and it is called the spring garden party and these are for spring point so as you guys can see there's wishing coins five star heroes mithril pickaxes but there's like we can go down this whole list here there's absolutely nothing of value really unless you are spending this week if you're spending this week then yeah okay maybe maybe it has some value to it but uh, you're getting cores, you're getting stellar shards, you're getting spiritual essence. I really wish they just stopped giving these in packs. Like, I feel like everybody has way too much spiritual essence and nowhere near enough stellar shards, and it's just becoming a very big problem. So, uh, but yeah, cores of transcendence, those are decent. So if you're going to spend this week, then it just depends on how much you're going to spend and how many points you're going to get. Uh, getting more wishing coins and getting more pickaxes from this kind of snowballs into itself but again i wish they would have put like at like 50 or like some sort of benchmark a good reward even just like a pay to an artifact but sadly there is not uh and this is the package for this week you're gonna get double the sky labyrinth chest completion and you'll get this little like plant thing that's basically the one that unlocks the bonus rewards over here at the spring garden party uh and of course you're getting 2500 prism starry gems so hundred dollar pack doesn't really seem worth it this week at all, even for like the big spenders out there, but we'll have to see. And then finally, we have the regular packs, gems, pickaxes, wishing coins, kind of the usual. So nothing really out of the ordinary on this one. So overall, this is a skip week for sure. I mean, the wishing coins are better saved up for better events that come around where you can get sublimation chests, pay to an artifact chest, all those things that are like super premium. This event just does not have it. So save up. Don't spend any of your stuff. Just you'll get a little extra progress this week off the normal event just because of the uh, the spring points. Uh, don't go out of your way to chase the spring points. They're definitely not worth it. And yeah, we're back to some live videos. So you'll see a bunch of stuff coming out today. We have a lot of topics to talk about. Probably be a bunch of shorter videos instead of like the longer ones we usually have. So 
definitely stay tuned. See you guys next time.